Hey guys, Steven here and this is the newest Rolly Winkler Basic update. I just wanted to update you guys in case you haven't seen this video and you can look at Rolly's stomach which is looking exceptionally tight considering the fact that he's one of the biggest guys on that stage and this year I think he's gonna be the biggest one on that stage. Uh, these past couple of years it was between him and Big Ramy but now with Big Ramy out of Mr. Olympia it's Rolly, it's Rolly. I mean forget the stomach, just look at the conditioning combined with that fullness and the roundness and overall completeness of this physique. I mean, we cannot see his back, which was his um, biggest flaw these past years. Every year it was a little bit better, but still it's his biggest weakness. Everybody has weaknesses, nobody is perfect, but you know, having a back as your biggest weakness is kind of bad if you want to be the best in the world. The same thing goes with, with legs. You know, Brandon Curry is also very complete, very good, but his legs are not there. While I was watching this video for Rolly posing, I was thinking one thing. I was thinking how everybody was before Arnold Classic thinking that Rolly is gonna win Arnold Classic 2019. I was one of those people. I thought so as well. Because the year before at the Mr. Olympia, Rolly took third place behind Sean and Phil, who were not at the Arnold Classic. So it was logical it was logical to assume but that didn't really happen because these guys brought much better conditioning and yeah Rolly was off but he wasn't really off off it's not like he was you know overcarbed or flat no the thing with Rolly was he didn't diet enough I don't know if you remember but this video surfaced only two weeks before the Iron Classic 2019 and at this point it was very obvious that uh, Rolly is not gonna win it as soon as I saw this video, I immediately changed my prediction and I said Brandon is gonna win it. And he won it, of course. And uh, Rolly, the thing is, he didn't come off. He just didn't try hard enough. He thought that he can just, you know, get, <laughs> get lean in like two weeks and win the show. But no, no, that's not how it goes. Being this fat, not just watery, but I would say this fat at two weeks out, really, how lean can you get in two weeks? I mean, yeah, these guys are freaks. These professional bodybuilders they can get very lean very fast but can you get lean enough and with his back being this weak he needs to get super sharp if he wants his back to look impressive okay his back last spread is fine but the back double bicep really shows a lot of weaknesses as you can see right here his back last spread is very dominant because he's very wide hey let's check this video first i mean his posing routine from 2019 arnold classic it's crazy how lean he got in only two weeks I mean, yeah, that was a lot of water retention. He lost a lot of water in this two-week prep and he probably didn't lose any fat. But imagine if that video two weeks out was taken like two months out and he dieted two months before the Arnold. Would he win it? Would he beat Brandon Curry? I don't know. I don't know, honestly. I mean, Brandon from 2018 Mr. Olympia, nothing impressive, nothing super crazy. But at the Arnold Classic, he really changed a lot. He improved. And uh, Rolly, look at his glutes, look at his hamstrings, his lower back. I mean, especially his lower back. He can get away with a bit of soggy glutes because he's super big. And size definitely does play a big role at the Mr. Olympia and Arnold and these big professional competitions. But back is also very important and your back won't look as impressive if it isn't completely dry. And Rolly, not only just his back, but his whole back side. As I said, you can get away with soggy glutes a little, but with no definition hamstrings, they're gonna get exposed when he stands next to guys like Brandon or, or William. These guys got very lean. Brandon, he doesn't have the best details in the legs, but Bonac does. And uh, Brandon had an amazing back, which was very, very detailed. And that's why Rolly couldn't place that well, even though he was probably bigger and freakier than all of them. Now, this year at the Mr. Olympia, Will he be able to beat these four guys, for example, that beat him at the Arnold? I think it's very, very possible. I'm pretty sure that he is gonna beat Luke Sando and Sajuk McMillan and pretty much the entire lineup. The only two guys that can challenge him are William Bonek and Brandon Curry. Now, William Bonek, he's always pretty much at his 100%. I think he was like 99% at the Mr. Olympia, this was like 99.5% at the Arnold and uh, I don't think he can get much better than that. This year without Neil Hill, I don't know how good will he be, but I don't think he will be better than Rolly because Rolly is really focused, as you can see he's making uh, physique updates very often and he's getting leaner by the day 
and we are still left with four weeks and he knows very well that he needs to try the hardest hardest ever because he is he's at the top after so many years of climbing up that ladder he came to the top and now it's all, all or nothing so this year he is in the position of winning the mr olympia and i'm sure he's gonna give it all that he's got brandon curry i don't think he's gonna be much bigger than he was at the arnold i think we're gonna see a repeat of Arnold as far as Brandon but I think Roll is gonna look better than last year because he didn't try hard for this Arnold he just you know died it a little bit in like two weeks and uh, came not very good so he had his year off pretty much and now he's gonna come fresh and with another year under his belt he's gonna look more matured his back is probably not gonna look better than Brandon's but I think as far as conditioning they're gonna be like at the same level and I think Rolly is more complete. I think Rolly's back is uh, better than Brandon's legs. I mean, they're both fine. They're not horrible. Neither one. I mean, they're okay, but they're not super dominant in that body part. I mean, just compare Brandon's legs here to those of uh, William Bonnet, right? It's a huge difference. But, you know, Bonnet doesn't have the structure. So, I think if Rolly comes completely sharp, it's gonna be an epic battle between him and Brandon Curry. Once again, you can see him right here, and you can see that he's getting leaner. His stomach is gonna be flat. He's gonna be able to control it very well, and it's gonna be very close battle between him and Brandon Curry. That's my prediction. What do you guys think? Do you think Rolly has bigger chances to win the Mr. Olympia than Brandon? Whatever your take is, tell me down below. Don't forget to like the video, and also, please, subscribe. I'm posting videos every day. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.